Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of factorial equations, we will be solving n factorial cube plus n factorial equal to 222. While solving this problem, we will see factorial, we will see substitution, we will see the cubic polynomial, we will see the methods of solving cubic polynomial and we will conclude our result. So let's get started by writing one substitution which is n factorial is equal to x. So our equation will be x cube plus x equal to 222. Take all the terms to the left. Then equation will be x cube plus x minus 222 equal to 0. Now how many methods are there to solve this cubic polynomial? First one is check and error. The very favorite. Second is synthetic division. This is my favorite. And third one is long division method. Everyone's favorite. And fourth one is remainder theorem or remainder theorem. No one's favorite. So what I am going to do here, I am going to solve using synthetic division and long division. Okay. Check and error automatically will come once we know the solution. Okay. So let's get started. How we can begin with C222. If you factorize it, so you can find out the eligible factors or eligible solution of this cubic equation. So if I will write few of them, then that would be plus minus 2, plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 6, plus minus 11 and so on. So out of these eligible possibilities of factors or solutions, we can pick few like plus 1, minus 1 won't satisfy. Plus 2, minus 2 won't satisfy because 2, 2, 2 is very big number. If I will put x equal to 6, see what will happen. 6 cube plus 6 minus 2, 22. That is equal to 0 because 200... 6 cube is 216, 216 plus 6 minus 222, that will be 0. That means x equal to 6 is one solution or root or x minus 6 is one factor of the cubic polynomial. So let me begin with, see check and error method is verified. How? You will put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 every number. But I have substituted only plus 1, plus 2, plus minus 1, plus minus 2. If you want to check, you can check also. So x equal to 6 is verified. Now let's uh, solve this by synthetic division. Okay. So x equal to 6. Let me write all the factors. Coefficients 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 2, 2. Then I will put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is. Now I will multiply. 6 times 1, 6, so 6, 6 times 6, 36, so it will become 37, 37 times 6, that would be 2, 2, 2, 0. So factors of x cube plus x minus 222 will become x minus 6 in one bracket and second bracket would be quadratic as we have solved x square plus 6x plus 37. Task is almost done. Okay. This is one method. Let me take the second one which is long division. Okay. So I, I am going to divide x cube plus x minus 222 by x minus 6. Okay. I will take x times no x square so x cube okay done x into x square x cube minus 6 into x square i have to write here minus 6 x because no term is there with x square so let me change of sign so this will get cancelled out what would be left 6 x square plus x minus 222 then i will multiply by 6 x Okay, 
So it will give us 6x square minus 6 times 6x that would be minus 36x. Again I will do the same job, change of sign. This will get over 37x minus 2 to 2. Now I will take obviously x is there so I need to write here 37. This will become 37x minus 2 to 2. 6 times 37 is 2 to 2, 222. Now you can see once I will change its sign, this will get over 0. So using long division method also, we have calculated the two brackets as x square plus 6x plus 37. If you want to check, you can check using remainder theorem also. So x minus 6, x square plus 6x plus 37 equal to 0. Okay then, now let us find out the factors from quadratic equation. So I will write x is equal to minus b for so minus 6 plus minus square root of 6 square 36 minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 3 is 120 plus 28, 148 over 2a, so 2. Minus 6 plus minus, this will be minus 112. So I will write i in in minus sign. Now 112 is what I can write uh, 16 times 7. So it would be 4 root 7 over 2 minus 3 plus minus i 2 root 7. Because of it is complex number, we have to reject. Why? Because we are solving one factorial equation with n factorial. That means n is whole number, n is whole number. So what we will do, we will consider n integer greater than or equal to 0. Okay, this is its domain. So this is complex number or complex solution. So we will reject. Okay, so this will be rejected. So which solution is accepted? That is x minus 6. So x equal to 6 is our solution solution for x solution with respect to x now x is what our consideration let me write here n factorial is equal to x is equal to 6 so if we will see n factorial so we can check 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial we know it is 6 so 6 is done n equal to 3 okay n equal to 3 is our solution. Now let's verify this. Verification. You can simply put over there 3 factorial whole cube plus 3 factorial and it should come out 222. So 3 factorial that means 6 cube plus 6. 216 plus 6. 222 which is our RHS, hence verified. Okay, that means n is equal to 3 is our true solution for the given cubic factorial equation. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.